Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm back talking about Agile and in this particular one, sprint tracking. All right. So in previous videos, I covered the backlog and actually putting things in your backlog in Agile incidents, problems, changes, or stories. And then I've made a follow on video showing how you could take that backlog and plan your sprints within the application. So I felt the need, I was compulsorily felt the need to come in here and finish up the last part of the Agile board, which is sprint tracking. Now I don't have any current sprints at the moment, but in the previous video you saw, I set up a sprint for the dev heads team. So I've got dev head sprint one, two, three showing here. I've got an incident and some stories in my sprint. And if you look above my head, this sprint has a 90, 90 story points capacity and I've filled it up 90% with stories. And we just need to get started on this because we're developers and we like developing. So I'm gonna hit start sprint and that's gonna take me to the actual sprint tracking. In sprint tracking, we get our Kanban, we get our visual task board. So one of the things I might have mentioned in a previous list is actually seeing um, or having tasks associated with your stories. So let me clean something up real quick. I'm gonna move my head so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna show some more information on this task board because it defaults to compact cards and I just wanna see more than the story number and the story name on my particular Kanban that I'm looking at. I can also say show additional info and show um, attachments if there are any. I don't have any attachments on mine so I'm just gonna do show card info. And now I've got a little bit more info showing on the screen for my particular stories in my sprint. Now, if I went into this implement avatar and chatbot, right? So I'm person actually doing the sprint now. So I'm going to take my name. I'm going to assign this to myself. Now that sprint is, or now that story is assigned to me. Let's open up the story and actually take a look at it. We'll just go to the story number here and see what the story is all about. I probably put in some bogus acceptance criteria. Yeah, chat away for the avatar and chatbot. But let's say I'm thinking through what I need to do the story and I know I've got a number of tasks I need to complete. So I could go ahead and create some scrum tasks here or without saving that, I'm gonna leave and go back. I can use this related link here at the bottom to add scrum tasks. So look right here, add scrum tasks. So instead of hitting that new button in the related list, I'm gonna click on this and it'll pop up a little modal where I can say, okay, well, I know I need to do some analysis and I probably do need to do some coding and then I need to finish out my documentation. And once I'm finished with my documentation, I need to test. So I just need one of each of those. Oh, but you know what? I may need Ralph over there to help me with some coding. So I'm gonna get two tasks for coding so that he can help me out. Click OK, and it's gonna automatically create those scrum tasks for me. They don't have much of a description on them, but I could go ahead and put on there, um, you know, I can make it match the type if I wanted to, just so I could see what those are when they show up on my board. So I'm gonna change a couple of these live in front of you. Let's do the last one. All right, so now I've got some tasks. I did all that so that I can now see for this particular story that there's some tasks associated with it. But where'd they go, everybody? Here's what I was getting to. If you look up above my head, I have three different views when I'm doing my sprint tracking. I've got my storyboard, I've got my task board, which is what I was getting at, and I can also view the stories as a list. But lists are boring, right? So let's go to the task board. The task board is gonna take my stories and make them swim lanes, right? So pretend like Michael Phelps is up here, Katie Ledecky is down below, and they're all swimming towards the finishing their sprint. But my tasks for that avatar in the chat bot is showing right here. I can collapse it, but now I can see the different tasks. And I can move that and say, okay, I'm ready to do this, and this is ready to work. And then when I'm ready to start actually doing my documentation, I can move it over work in progress. I can assign it to myself and start working on that task within this particular view from the sprint. So I can complete all those tasks and maybe when I'm done and all those are in the complete column that you can see here, um, that's the complete column. Maybe I wanna go in and actually collapse the lane or do something else or go back to the storyboard now that I've gotten all my tasks done and say, hey, this particular story has been completed, move it over to the right, and then it's completed. That is sprint tracking in ServiceNow. Lots of features and functionality around Kanbans. I didn't even show you everything, all the labeling and stuff that I have in a previous video on visual task boards. That's what's underneath the hood here. We're looking at VTBs or visual task boards within the Agile application where it's called the Agile board if you're looking for it in your instance and you can do all the magic that I just showed you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in tracking their sprints in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.